Hey everybody, welcome back to Will It Run on the SNES Classic. Today we're going to be looking at PS1 games that people have requested. So as you can see over here with Hack G2, we have a nice list of games. So Army Men Sergeant Sears was requested by Juan Ardia. Bishi Bashi Special was requested by Crazy World TW. Castlevania Symphony of the Night was requested by... Evil Zen Abyss Ranger. Crash Bandicoot 2 was requested by Inquisitor Christopher. Einhander was requested by John Doe. GTA 2 was requested by Mike Heisel. Metal Gear Solid was requested by Ryan the Great. World Combat Trilogy was requested by Sam Figgy112284. The NBA Live games were requested by Mulligan Man 30. Thrill Kill was requested by Jared Smith. And Disney's Magical Racing Tour was requested by Kira Rara Hey. So, there we go. Oh, and I put Silent, in, Silent Hill in there um, because I wanted to. Why would you even ask why that's there? All right, so I'm going to go over a couple things I didn't go over in my video on getting the CD games to run because I ran into a couple uh, different things here. We had some games that came up as an ECM file and we had games that came up as multiple bin files. So I'm going to go over real quick how to take care of those. The core we're going to use is PCSX Rearmed Neon. Make sure you use the Neon version, not just the regular Rearmed. That Rearmed version doesn't work very well, so you have to have the Neon version for these to run well at all. And a few programs here, the PSX to PSP version 1.4.2 Base, CD Mage, and UnECM. I'll provide all those for you in the description. Um, CD Mage and UnECM can be found in KMDF Mandix Core sets. So we'll be taking a look at those too. So let's see, what were the games that gave me an issue? Mortal Kombat Trilogy, okay. <clears throat> let's take a look at how Mortal Kombat Trilogy looks when you unzip it. Go to our PS1's folder, back up, and wow, look at all these bin files. This is perfect, exactly what we want. All right, so to get the bin file we need, which is just this regular one bin file, we have to combine all these other bin files. To do that, you need a program called CD Mage. If we go into KMDF Manix Core Sets, uh, this one is dated 12018. It's in his newer ones too, I believe. Go into his Extras folder, Tools, and CD Mage. So let's open that up. Hopefully, the recording doesn't pause or anything like that. So we have CD Mage open. We're going to go to File, Open. All right, let's see, is it under here maybe? Not there, where's Downloads? Okay, so here's our Mortal Kombat files. You're gonna take the Q file and open that up with the CD Mage program. This is actually, I, I just found out how to use this program actually because I didn't. I never had the multiple bin files come up as an issue. Um, so I had to watch one of his tutorials to figure out how to get this to work. And it's very simple. So we have the Q file opened up and all these bin files that go along with it, all 30 of them. You're going to go back to file, save as. Now you're just going to save over that previous queue file, click save. It says that the queue already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. And it says the bin already exists because we've already done that. So you would hit yes again. And this is what I wanted to show you. It might be kind of hard to see. I had to blow up the whole desktop because I've actually already recorded this video once, but because I had blown it up, all these windows were out of shot, so that wasn't great. You want to make sure that it says Mode 2, 2352 on both of these right here. And then you click OK, and then it'll create that new bin file. So we are done with CD Mage. It's going to create this bin file here. So the second uh, type of file was an ECM file that I got. Let's go to our PS1 folder. So let's see, where was it? Okay, this Bishibashi special was an ECM file. We have to convert that to a bin file so we can eventually turn that into an eBoot file to put on the SNES Classic. So ECM, we have to go to my folder here. Okay. Um, also Thrill Kill came out as an ECM file. So let's use that since we already have that here. Um, we have our unECM exe in this folder. Now for some reason I can't get to my command line in this. I don't know anything about command lines. I don't know how it works. I've never worked with command lines before. 
Um, so when I open up my command prompt, I'm automatically in this folder. So I just put those files in this folder because it's already here. So I renamed the thrill kill ECM file to th ECM, just something small and easy. So up here in the command prompt, we have to type unecm and then the file name th.ecm. Then we hit enter and you'll see it'll be decoding. And this actually isn't, isn't too bad. It's pretty quick. We're getting a new file right here. All done. So now we have this file. It's just an unnamed file. We're going to rename that to .bin. You can name it whatever you want. Um, and since we already did that, we have it right here already. This and this is the same file. This one is just renamed. So you have to rename it to .bin. We are done with unecm. Let's open up another folder here. Um, back to our downloads, PS1. So then we have thrill kill the way we want it. Yeah, see it was it was a bin. So here's our bin file. So we have to change those games to eBoots because that's going to compress those games and it's going to make it easier to put them on the SNES Classic. So to do that is where this PSX to PSP comes in. So back up one folder to my little CD games folder here. There we go. The base version didn't give me any errors. There was another version that it was giving me some kind of pop-up wouldn't let me let it work. So real quick to make your eBoot files. Here we go. Version 1.4.2. You have one file selected. Hit the three buttons next to it. Okay, so like I said, we'll do thrillkill.bin. Open it up. And you'll get the game ID with the number next to it and stuff like that. You have to make the output folder. So we're going to make that the desktop just for tutorial reasons. Hit OK. Then you're going to hit convert. And this, I think, will mess up my recording we're gonna hit it I might have to come back to this game ID if you're doing multiple games because all you're gonna get is this eboot it's not gonna be renamed to anything like that and this is what you're going to add to the SNES classic so you would just go back here to hack 2 add more games um, if you don't see anything in the in your folder uh, it's probably because this games and apps option has to say all files and there's your eboot right there so you would just double click on this to add it it would come up here as an eboot. You would have to rename it to whatever. So like that's why thrill kill shows up as thrill kill. In the command line right here, this will say eboot or PBP. Excuse me, it'll say PBP right here, and that's what you have to change. So now that we know how to fix all these games to get them into eboot form to put them on our SNES Classic, once you have all that done, now we have to install the core for these games to run. So like I said in my description, I'll have a download link with all these programs that you'll need. If you like, you can also get this core from KMDF Manix core set. So what we want is the rearmed Neon. So back at your hack G2, you go to modules, install extra modules. You're going to drag that Neon core into this box and it'll be added to the list. If for some reason that doesn't work, go into your hack G2 folder, then your user underscore mods folder, put it in there. That should cause it to appear here as well. So let's go down, take a look. Here it is. PCSX re reamed. Maybe it's reamed. Re no, it is rearmed. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. All right, so rearmed neon. So you want to make sure that box is checked, as well as this PCSX core. Get this RetroArch core on there. You have to make sure this is installed, or no other core will work. This has to be installed on your system. So if you don't have this installed already. Put a check next to that too. Once you have your course checked, hit this OK button right here on the bottom. Then a box will appear on your screen asking you to hold down the reset button on the SNES Classic as you hit the power button. Once you do that, you'll see a bar appear on your computer screen. It'll start filling in green. Once it fills in all the way, it means these cores are installed and they're ready to be used. After you have your core installed, the next thing you have to do is change the command line here. Like I said, you have to take out whatever comes out after the bin. This could say bin, this could say um, ECM. If, it, if you have ECM on here, you have to convert it back to an eBoot like I showed you before, or at least a bin file. So this, this could say bin, it could say PBP for eBoots. Change that to PCSX. And we did that on all of our games, I believe. We did look at that perfect so all our command lines are good um, like we do on all our other will it run series to get the box out you just click your game rename it 
sometimes you have to rename it PS1 um, to get the box art, but then you can go back and rename it. Like, say we go to NBA Live 2001. We couldn't find the PS1 box art. Let's see if we have any better luck by putting PS1 on there for 2001. See, I don't see any 2001s for the PS1. That's why we picked that first one there for some reason. 2001 was not a good year for the PlayStation, I guess. All right, so that's why we have this box art. It didn't work out. But then you could just take out the PS1, and then you're all set. So it looks nice on your SNES Classic. So we have all our games. We have installed the core. We have our command line changed. We have our box art. We've changed all the games so they will run on the SNES Classic. Last thing to do is hit the synchronize button um, to have them transferred to your SNES Classic. But unfortunately, if you look down here, we're a little bit over the uh, storage capacity for the SNES Classic. That's where one of these things come in. You should really, really invest in getting one of those OTG chargers and a flash drive for these games because maybe, let's see, I think Crash Bandicoot will fit. But most of these other games, I mean, you're already in the 300. This Bishy Bashi special, which I have no idea what that is, that won't fit. Or Bishy Bashi will fit, Crash Bandicoot, but you really need to invest in the USB mod. And I have tutorials on how to do all that stuff. It's super easy if you follow it step by step. So there you go. That's it. Last thing to do is for us to head over to our SNES Classic and see how these PS1 games run. All right, so here we are with our SNES Classic with all these PS1 games running off the USB drive. I want to show you guys something real quick um, with Silent Hill involving the controls because the SNES controller doesn't have as many buttons as the PS1 controller, nor does it have analog sticks. So I just wanted to show you something real quick. I already have a, uh, a suspend point here so we can get right into it and I'd have to go through the whole intro and all that stuff. All right, so here we are. We're, we're in the menu. We can get out of that. And also remember um, the PS1 controller, the accept and cancel buttons are reversed. You know, the accept button is X, which is B on the SNES Classic. And the accept, or excuse me, and the cancel would be circle, which is in the A spot. So that can get confusing when you're going back, you know, you know, through the menus of the SNES Classic in the game. So we already know Silent Hill 1 runs uh, really good. Everything with movement and running and the face buttons work fine, but we don't have the L2 and R2 buttons. Now, I went ahead with each game that we're going to be taking a look at to find the controls for it to see what games are going to be affected by that and how it'll be affected with the L2 and R2 buttons missing. Um, but we can get around that. So for Silent Hill, we need the R2 button. That is how you ready your weapons. Uh, so we're going to equip the gun real quick. And usually this would be R2. Well, we don't have an R2. The R button just makes a strafe right and L2 makes a strafe left. So how are you going to play Silent Hill with just a regular SNES controller? And this works fine with the Wii Classic controller. I have that. I tested it out and the extra buttons on there work great. You know, you can play this with the Wii Classic controller. For the SNES controller though, let's go into our RetroArch menu. Okay, we're in the quick menu. Just go to controls. And you have your buttons laid out here for user 1. So we have R1 assigned to R. R2 is assigned to R2, but we don't have an R2 button. So you're gonna have to switch the R button so you get this R2 to work. So R1, that has to be the R2 button. Switch R2 to R. So now we should be able to ready our weapon. Um, same thing with L2. I can't remember what the L2 button, I think it's a look function with this game. So once again, change L1 to L2, L2 to L1. And I believe you have to save the core remap file or the game remap file, excuse me. So you hit uh, A here and that should save it. Let's back out, get back into the game. Hopefully that worked. Look at that. Now I'm hitting the R button to ready my weapon instead of strafing now. If I hit L, it changes our viewpoint. Um, the thing is we can't strafe anymore which is not going to break the gameplay. You just That's just a function you can't do if, if you like to strafe. Um, maybe you can take out the look button, put that back on L2 so you can strafe, but everything else works fine. We can now fight enemies and run and all that fun stuff. So I just wanted to show you how to do that real quick. One more time, all you have to do is go into your quick menu, controls, 
and switch the R1 to R2 and the R2 to R. And that's all you got to do. And that should save for everything. We're going to delete the remap file because I don't know if um, other games even require that. So, yeah. So R2 should be R2 now. Let's back out. Unpause. And we're back to strafing again. And that's it. That's all I wanted to show you with Silent Hill. That's a really great game. We're probably going to play that on the channel sometime. All right, so once we get back to our SNES Classic menu, we'll get started. So where is our first game? Way over here, Army of Minsardi's Heroes. Let's open that up, see how this runs. I haven't tried any of these games except for um, Castlevania. So I don't know how any of these are gonna run. So Army Men, with the R2 and L2 buttons, um, those are straf strafing buttons for left and right. I don't know if you need the analog stick for this. I don't believe so. Let's take a look. 2000 by 3DO. I've never played this game. There are battles between good and evil. We talk oh, the green and the tan. Yes. Of course. So it sounds good. Sounds like it's playing the movie well. Produced by Oscar Katz. Tan Invasions. By sea and by air. The tan army launched a surprise attack against unsuspecting neighboring nations. Not the cows. Oh, can we can we skip this? We can't. Okay, good. I just want to try and get to the gameplay a little bit because we got a lot of games to look at. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, boot camp campaign. Uh, let's just start a campaign. Act one. Attack. Memory card. We don't have one, but that doesn't matter because you can you can uh, save in game and you can make save states like I showed you with Silent Hill. What a nice day. Nice day. Skip it. Don't have time for nice days here. All right, so we can't strafe. I probably should have went to boot camp so I knew what the controls were. Your mission is to get to the landed bay for evac, Pronto. Okay, we have to evac. All right, and you guys are gonna have to let me know if this game is running good or not because I've never played it. It seems like it's running pretty good. Okay, we're running. Oh. Oh, that's a bad guy. How do you shoot? Oh, okay. So now how do I fire? Oh, all right. Oh, no. Okay, switch to this one. Got him. We took out a couple tans. All right, so the R button puts you in first person. The L button does a quick turn. That's cool. All right. Any buds? Okay, we have a bazooka. It is party time. Wonderful. All right, and we got full health. Okay. This is how you play army games. Just run straight at the enemy. And don't worry about getting hurt. Oop, am I out of? I'm out of ammo. How do I switch weapons? Okay, there we go. All right, that was pretty cool. Oh, we did a quick turn on accident. Okay, there's another tan over here. Oh, we hit the tree. That's that's not what we're aiming. But we got that guy, and we're almost dead. Oh, we failed. So I don't know, these graphics look good to me. So we died. We did not make it very far at all, but that's okay. It looks like it runs pretty good. Um, graphics looked all right. Sound was good. So let's move on to the next one. Uh, Bishi Bashi Special. Okay. This never came out here, so I don't know what this is. A little warning about piracy. Konami, okay, all right. Super Bishi Bashi or Hyper Bishi Bashi? I don't know, we'll do super. Okay, now loading, hello. Cashier, I think she's a cashier. Right, this came out in 2000. Bishi Bashi together. Bishi Bashi alone and options. What are the options here? Game level. We'll stay normal. Okay. Normal. All right. Uh, I guess we're Bishi Bashing alone. Endurance Marathon. Time trial and select a game. Uh, we'll do Endurance. Stage one. Is that Mice Paradise? Okay. What do we do? 
Just eat them all. Rotate with left and right. Okay, so we'll just move the mouse. Oh, there's more. Okay, so we need... Oh, there's more mice. We're, we're, we're pink. Oh, we're fast. Okay. Oh, you, you can't hold the, the turn button down. You have to press it multiple times. Give me the candy. Okay, tomatoes or strawberries, maybe. I need 70-something points. This is, this is hard. Oh, no, we're not going to make it. Time up. Yeah, we lost. You said we needed like 70 something. 75? That's, that was a hard game. Okay, Totem Shrink. So this is like a mini game. Game. I love these games. Okay. Press the same color button. Oh no. Oh no. This is going to be hard because I don't know the colors. I forgot what the colors were. Okay. Oh, oh, geez. oh, this is hard. Okay. Wow. That was kind of hard. Because, you know, you don't have the controller in front of you to do it. But that was fun. That was a cool game. We beat it. Did okay. Stage three. What do we got? Mechanical pencil basher? This is like work time fun for the PSP. Just bash the buttons. Oh. Okay. We need five points. Ready, Just bash him. Alright, we got five. Six. We got six. Wow, you really had to match for that. That was kind of hard. But we won. We won the Bishy Bashi. So far... Oh, for the... um, There's there's no R2, L2 buttons needed on this game, by the way. Was that Burger Girl? What did I say? Burger Girl. Okay. Attention. Attention. Fix the burger straight up. Okay, so we just have to catch things. Okay. There we go. Good. A little quicker. That's fine. Lettuce. Some, I don't know what that is. Maybe some egg. Cheese. Alright, made a burger. Oh boy. Okay, phase four. Whoa. Okay, 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 you game. Alright, we made a big one that time. Phase five. Oh, jeez. Okay, alright. And we're doing... Oh. Gotta get the lettuce. Okay, are we done? Good? Alright, we beat the Bishy Bashi. That's a cool game. That's a cool game, but we can't keep playing because we have so many more games to do. What's next? As soon as the game loads out. Sometimes it takes a little longer for these games to go back to the menu, and that's all right. Ah, oh, Castlevania. Okay, we have a save for Castlevania as well because we didn't want to go through the, uh, the, uh, the intro for this one either. Now, you guys may have to refresh my memory. Um, this game, I think, runs kind of slow. Which is weird because I haven't had any games do that before. Uh -oh. um, so also the R2 button lets you transform into a wolf, which you need, but you also need your L1 and R1 buttons for the other transformations. Um, so you're going to have to either do some finagling on this one or get a uh, class controller or one of those 8-bit DO controllers. Now, I think this runs slow. You're going to have to help me out, but I remember this running a lot faster, I think. Alright, so. It could have been just a fluke that one time. But this, I think it, it, I don't know. It, it feels slow. Like, especially that explosion, that doesn't sound right. I mean, it runs, and you can play this game. 
if, if it's like your first time playing it, you may not even notice the slowdown and all this. But to me, it feels slow. That seemed really slow right there, too, when I got hit by that zombie. Like everything, the music, the sound effects, the movement. Here's a secret for you guys. If you didn't know, there's a pot roast in there. And we come out to the other side. I've played this game a lot, and that's how I, I was able to notice, you know, something's not right. And that's really unfortunate, because uh, this would be a really good game to play. And now, it may just be because... It, excuse me, it might be because of the version I have. I don't know if I downloaded a, a funky version or not, or, or what. I actually have this game, and I'm thinking about ripping it myself, just to... So yeah, all that cool stuff you were doing at the beginning, you can't do anymore, because Death took all your fun stuff. You can still do the backdash, though. But yeah, we have nothing now. Yeah, I can tell this is this is definitely running slower than I remember. Now that I'm jumping up this thing, it's way slowed down. So that kind of sucks. Make sure you jump over this, because that's not fun otherwise. Beat up the skeleton real quick. Now we have the sword. Let's equip the sword. Beautiful. Alright, now we're armed again. It's down here. A wall that we can't get through. Perfect, exactly. So if you haven't played this Castlevania, either because you never had a PS1 or something, um, I'd still recommend it. It's, it's really a good game. Like, it's so good. And here's your save room. We're not going to worry about that right now, because we can save whenever we want. But also, I'm hoping maybe somebody takes a look at this game so they can get it running a lot better than this, or maybe that my version is just bad, because this, this will be a top 10 game for me to recommend on this system. Definitely. The music, everything about this game is so good. It's one of my favorite games ever, probably. Definitely on the PS1. If you like Castlevania, you need to play this game. How dare you throw your bones at me? Come here. That's what you get. Yeah, these skeletons like to come back because they are blood skeletons and they don't die. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but that's Castlevania. Doesn't run as well as I'd like it to, but... Still technically playable. Alright, anyway, let's move on to Crash Bandicoot 2. Let's see how this runs. What do we have? If you haven't played the Crash series, you should play that too. I'm probably going to recommend pretty much any game here that I have played before. Because they're all great. Crash 2 is a really good game. The whole Crash series is, is great on the PS1. They're kind of funny too. They have a, a funny, a good sense of humor. Graphics are a little dated, but you gotta remember this game was back in the 90s, so. Okay, so we are Crash. Now for this game, um, the R2 and L2 buttons aren't used, so you can play it just fine using the, uh, the regular controller. Let's go into this first level. See how this goes. It's interesting, because like the Armament game ran really good. Bishibashi ran good. These 3D games, see like this, this is how the game runs. It, it feels good. Like, why is this running so well but not Castlevania? I don't really know. I don't know. Oh, is that mud? Oh, mud. 
Grab the wampa fruit. Take care of this box over here. Get some more fruit. Excuse me, armadillo or whatever you are. You're kind of blue. Get over the pits. Break more boxes. Extra life. Does this do anything? No. At least not right now. There's Aku Aku. And also a checkpoint. Now you can jump on enemies too. Especially the, the turtles. You can use them as little springboards after you jump on them. Fun stuff. So this looks like it's run really good. That's awesome. Oh no, bonus level. All the fruit. Now the objective of uh, the Crash Games is to break all the boxes in a level. All the crates. And then you get bonuses, you know? Or you get like a gem at the end that allows you to go different places or something. So you're gonna make sure you hit them all. And not die. In the process. I think we... Is that the same place we left? Maybe. Probably. Right, let's take care of this box. Perfect. And you can't spin in the mud, so that's why you gotta jump on these. Ugh. And, okay. Alright, yeah, I'm, I'm really good at this game. There we go. Perfect. Let's get rid of this armadillo. There's a checkpoint. Perfect. And some stuff. Another mask. Awesome. And a pit. Oh, we fell down the pit and we can't get out until we take care of these guys. Alright, we have a bouncy mushroom now. Perfect. Oh, and you can knock the fruit away. Okay, see a box up there? Here's what you do. Oh. Well, never mind. You're supposed to bounce on that turtle and get the box up there. And another pits. Showdown. With, uh, whatever these things are. Rats? Possums? I'm not really sure. Almost. Almost. And there we go. Well, here's that crystal. I don't know what that's for. I don't remember. There we go. Got it. We're going to be short one box, though, at the end. That kind of sucks. We made it. All right, see, so yeah. Oh no, there's a bunch we missed. Wow. We missed a lot. I don't know where they were. We must have missed a bonus level or something. Crash 2 runs really good. That is fully playable. Awesome. So we got that gem. Just beating level, I think, maybe? Cutscene. Who is it? Well Cortex. We're going to interrupt it. We have other things to do. There we go. Einhander, Squaresoft Shooter. One of the best shooters I ever played. I never beat it. I should. Because now I can play it on my SNES Classic. Why wouldn't I? So for Einhander, the L2 and R2 buttons um, change your speed either up or down, which is... Oh, uh, that's pretty important. Um, let's see what the R1 and R2, or excuse me, the uh, L1 and R1 buttons do once we get in here after this short countdown. Here we go. This is a really good game. No game data. That's okay. Can't be saved. There was a time in the era of great chaos when the earth and the moon were at war with each other. We were at war with the moon. Okay. So yeah, you can pick your vehicle between three of these. Um, depends on how many gun pods you want. You have three, one, or two. Or this one has two machine guns. I'm just going to pick one. Once you start collecting arms throughout the game, and you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute, you can select them from the beginning, which is really cool. All right. Oh, this is running smooth, I think. Sounds good. All right, let's take out these police guys. I can't remember if we're fighting for the moon or the earth. I don't remember. Okay, let's get uh, that Vulcan arm. Never mind. We'll just stick with our regular guns. And 
We died. Okay, let's go again. So this seems to run really good. Speed is nice. Grab the Vulcan. Alright, so now you're shooting with the square button. I was going to say the white button, but it's actually the square button. And X will shoot that lower gun for you. L and R aren't doing anything for me. If you push circle, um, it transfers the weapon to the top. And you can hold up to two weapons. Let's switch that to the bottom because we don't need to shoot behind us. Oh no. So now we have a cannon, which is actually really strong. Okay, so now we have... well, we died. I was going to say, now we have a wasp and a cannon. Oh good, we get a checkpoint. So, let's get the cannon. Take these guys out. Nice. This is a really good looking game, too. You get a bonus if you can break all these lights. Just a heads up. See, we got the bonus at the bottom. If you notice, maybe it is. Okay, so I think this vehicle only allows you to have one gun pod at a time. You can see how switching it from the top to the bottom changes how it fires, either straight ahead or at an angle. There's a little bit of strategy involved there. What's up? What's up, cops? Oh, you're different. Okay, so anyway, because I'm not doing very well at that, Einhander plays really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's next? GTA 2! Okay, great. So, for GTA 2, which I've, again, not really played. I played the first one a tiny bit, but never got into it. Um, L2 is the previous weapon, and R2 is attack. So, we may have to do some finagling for that. Uh, play. Start. Oh, uh, disclaimer, this is a violent game, if you didn't know already, so it's going to be some, some violence coming up in a second. Okay. Up and down doesn't do anything. Oh, X. X moves you forward. How do you go backwards? Square moves you backwards. Let's answer this phone, because it's annoying. Alright, connecting. Tutorial. Wow, this is a weird um, con control scheme here. All right, so R jumps. L does nothing, it seems. It appears that circle burps and farts. So there's there's a, a button we can, we can switch out. So it looks like we can jump using uh, R. That's cool. Avalon. Oh, we're in a park. We're stuck behind a fence. Tra training mission. I wasn't paying attention to what was going on. Maybe I should. Okay. Welcome to the downtown district. I can't skip that, can I? Ooh. Oh, select. Oh, now we have a, a pink arrow. Okay, how do I get in the car? Triangle. Okay. Okay, now here's here's the violent parts, because people are going to get in my way. And I'm probably going to hit them with my car. Not on purpose, but just because I'm trying to get where I need to go. Okay, so we're going to wherever the pink arrow is. Some district, I don't know. I'm not really reading. Okay, so again, you guys are going to have to tell me if this game is running okay. Seems fine to me. It sounds good. Okay, the arrow's, the arrow's moving. Oh, okay, that's not going to work. And we're in oncoming traffic again. Let's just go on the sidewalk. Why not? Oh, what? Just 
Can we go up here? And that way? Trying to let it get us out? Okay. Oh man, this, these controls are hard to get used to. Oh, who's that guy? Is that dude coming at us? Uh, we can't attack him either. We can't attack because we don't have buttons. Uh oh. Oh, he's mad. Oh boy. Let's just keep running. Okay, we're fine. We're at, we're at Zarelli. Oh god. Oh, ooh. oh no. Is he going to catch us? No, oh, no. Oh wait, okay. Uh, what is this? A gun? Gray markers will always point to the nearest Zaibatsu phones. Wow, he's really on our butt. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Okay. So let's let's change our controls real quick so we can attack. Okay. R1 has to be R2, and R2 has to be R button. Back out. And let's see. Okay, now we have a punch. Oh, we're left-handed. Oop, okay. Sorry, guy. Let's take this car. All right. We've got the truck cab. Oh, excuse me. Just keep pushing this guy. So, I mean, the game is playable. These controls are weird, though, man. We don't have our jump command anymore. I don't know how necessary that is in the game. But now we can at least attack. Sorry, sir. I'm just going to keep driving a little bit. Oh. Did the cars blow up in this one, too? I think they did in the first one. I have played Grand Theft Auto 3 and Vice City. Those are really good games. Well, that's it. I haven't gone past Vice City. None of the new ones. Oh, jeez. Well, I'm going to say that was pretty playable. That was that was a fun game. So now, okay, because I changed those controls in the RetroArc menu, they should stay like that. So any other game now has um, that button. All right, so Metal Gear Solid, let's take a look. So right now my R button is assigned to R2. Metal Gear Solid, you need the analog sticks. The L2 button equips an item. The R2 button equips a weapon. Okay, well the game started up, that's good. Metal Gear, I have played this in so long. Oh uh, yeah, normal. Oh. Okay, well apparently Circle is accepted in this game. They just gotta switch it around to Japanese style. Well, that looked cool. We're gonna skip it. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. I'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. Can we? Okay, good. Yeah. Let's make sure we can skip that. Okay. <clears throat> so that sounded good. Oh, okay. Um, I guess apparently the analog stick is already a... Um, you know, assigned to the directional button. So no analog funny stuff needed. It already works. All right, so X makes you crouch. Circle attacks. Square. I don't know what he's doing. Triangle is first person. R and L are doing nothing right now. So if we hold down, oh, what, what do you want? Snake, you have to crawl. Okay, yeah, I, I was just taking a minute. Oh, who was that? Some lady. Whatever. I am. I will crawl. Just give me... Okay, there's a bad guy. Let's see if I remember how to take care of him. Ooh, water. Where is he? Where did the bad guy go? Where is he? Okay. We have to use stealth. Oh, there he is. Just go like this. Yeah, that's how you take care of him. What? Oh my gosh, calm down, dude. You're worse than Navi. What? what? I don't... Oh no, they got me. Oh no, they got me. Oh no, they got me. 
Oh no, they got me. Um, I can't tell if the game is slowing down or if it was always this slow, to be honest. It was a little slow. It sounds good, though. I think the game might have always been this slow. Actually, I don't know. That was kind of, uh... When those guys started chasing me, I felt a little bit of slowdown, I think. Okay. Music is by Tappy and Rika something. Oh! I made noise when I splashed. Ah, no, we died. I don't know, I can't tell. I, I played this game a lot um, when I was younger, but uh, I really don't remember if it played that slow or not, if that was normal. How did we die on the first level, man? Jeez. Not even the first level, the first room. I'm trying to choke him out. I think it worked. Can we get on the elevator? With the, with the enemy? No, we can't. Oh no. How did you miss me? I was running right in front of you. You didn't hear anything. Blah. Okay, 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 guys. Okay, just, just, just calm down. I don't know, but do you guys see a uh, slowdown with this at all? It doesn't sound like it's slow. I don't get on the elevator. Hello? I'm at the elevator. There it is. Do I have to hit the button? Oh man, I don't remember what to do here. Nothing. Nobody's here. Oh, I got a ration. Okay, pausing. Select takes me here. First person, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. Well, it's good to know that the, the analog stick is mapped to the direction button. That's really good. What's next? So Metal Gear seemed playable. I, I Like I said, I can't tell if there was slowdown or not. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Wrong button. See, that's what I mean when you get your buttons confused once you're in the, the PS1 games. All right. Oh, a lot of people want to play this game. They want the arcade version, but it doesn't work. Sorry. No version of this works. N64 doesn't work. Arcade doesn't work. Midway and Williams really messed up their arcade game, so no one can play them. I don't believe the L2 and R2 buttons are used for anything. I know there's a run and a block button. And if you need to, you can just map those to L and R. Okay, more combat trilogy. Some stuff happened a long time ago. Let's see if I remember how to play this. Oh man. I'm not great at the Mortal Kombat games. All right, it starts up. Cool. Where's my man? Here's my man, but not in this game. This is my guy in this game. Gotta do some Sub-Zero action. We are a novice. We are. Let's get into this. All right, are we in? Loading. Yes, I forgot. PS1. We have load times sometimes. Especially with this game, and if you're fighting Shang Tsung because of all that fun crap that he does. This runs really good. One button. Okay. Alright, so both of those buttons are blocking. So what's the run button then? Let's change this back up real quick. 
R1 is assigned to R, R2 is assigned to R2. Oh, maybe it didn't, oh, you know, I didn't save it, that's why. All right, so let's do R1 be assigned, no, 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 R2 will be assigned to R1. We did change it, there we go. Let's see what that changes. Nothing. So how do you run? Oh, our Mac got us. This seems to run really good. It's finally nice to play a really good running... Um, oh, wait, I heard him. Oh, you know what? I know what's going on. I know what's going on, everybody. Let's go back to our quick menu. Controls. We need to switch this. That's why, yeah, we had it on the same button. Okay, now we have the run. Oh no! Are you gonna? Nope. Okay, so if you want to get the R button, you have to swap that with R2. Did I say R button? I meant the run button. If you want to, if you want to run, switch the R1 and R2 button, so then you can run. Well, I wanted to continue, and it wouldn't let me. We'll do one more round, then we got to keep moving on. Got a few more games left. Let's see, do I even remember anybody else? Is Smoke on here? He should be on here. Well, there's that one. I meant this Smoke, though. I'm going to go to the bank this time. At least the game runs, and it sounds good. All right. I don't remember. Nice. Okay. Hey. Okay, well, pff. I don't remember any of his moves. But the game runs really good. Like, perfect. It sounds perfect. It plays really good. Oh, the Burmak attack. He got us. Okay, so there's Moral Combat Trilogy. Very nice. And here we go. Okay, so we got the NBA Live games. We'll go to 2000. Now, I can only find the controls for 2000, but I know nothing about basketball games, so I don't know how important this is, but the L2 button, uh, switch player, and direct pass. The R2 button... Face, well, switch player on offense, direct pass, that's on deep, or maybe I got that, I don't know. Um, R2 says face up or stutter step. So I don't know how important that is, but we're just going to get into this game. Um, we're not going to mess with the controls or anything, we're just going to try and start the game real quick. Hopefully we can get to all three of them. If the game starts... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, NBA Live. Did we find our first bump? Oh, no. Oh, no, NBA Live 2000 doesn't want to start up. Wow. I'm surprised. I thought the, the compatibility was, like, really high up. Yeah, we had to back out. All right, let's try 2001. Wow, 2000 didn't start. Okay, let's try again. 2001. All right, feeling good about this one. Maybe. EA Sports. It's in the game. It's in the game. Okay, NBA. 2000 season. Look at all these teams. Looks just like the other game so far. 
Oh, that's different. All right. EA. Let's see if we can load past the starting screen. Okay, we did. Wow, I can't read that. Um, okay. I feel like something should have happened here. Like, that was supposed to zoom into the screen or something. This is interesting. Because I'm stuck. I can't get past this at all. So, huh. That's interesting. Two NBA Live games don't work, I guess. Let's try 2002. I wasn't expecting that. That's why we have these videos. Right, let's see how sports. It's in the game. See how 2002 does. Oh man. Okay. All right. Loading. Ooh, I got a bad feeling about it. Oh no, again. It did it again. Same exact spot. Wow. I wonder why it does that. That's rough. You can't do any of the NBA Live games for PS1. At least not right now. Wow. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry, Mulligan Man. Wow, that really sucks. So that's no to the NBA Live games. But then again, it could be a version I downloaded. That's possible. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so Walt Disney World Magical Racing Tour. Let's check this out by Kira Ra Ra. Hey, I think this is supposed to be a lot like Crash Team Racing, which is a really good racing game, really good car racer. So let's take a look. Okay. IDOS. All right, I know IDOS. I think they did the uh, Tomb Raider games. That's cool. What else we got? Disney. Wait. Oh, Crystal Dynamics. They did the Blood Omen series. It's one of my favorite game series. Okay, so we got Blood Omen meets Tomb Raider. And some sparkle stuff. And there's the Disney logo. Can we skip it? We can. All right, we will select English. That is what I speak, and I don't know who that is. That's creepy. Is that supposed to be Scrooge? <clears throat> okay, we are, we are in the Disney Kingdom. Skip it. Okay, Welcome Chippendale. Disney World. A little bit of sound uh, stuttering, maybe? Okay, 2000 Adventure, new game. Let's do it. Hey, it's Jiminy! Hello there. Cricket's the name. Jiminy Cricket. And today, I have a tale for you that's sure to make you smile. Well, <laughs> at least I hope it does. It's all here in my storybook. Oh, did I hit a button to skip that? Wow. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. Uh, Chip, Amanda Sparkle, Tira, Damage, Dale, don't know, don't know. Bruno Biggs, Mo Whiplash, Otto Plugnut, Oliver Chickley III, Polly Roger, Baron Carlot. We're going to be the pirate. Uh, my initials. I don't feel like it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, jet skis? Welcome or, uh, yeah, snowmobiles? Screen. This is where you'll be able to track your progress. Oh, and if you'd like a little help, just press the hint button, and I'll see what I can do. All right. Let's continue. Oh, we get to choose. Okay. Test track, Typhoon Lagoon, Big Thunder Mountain. Oh. Oh, you go to Epcot and Magic Kingdom. Okay. Disney Studios Rock and Roller. We'll do Rock and Roller Coaster, I guess. Oh, I can't. What can I, can I do? Big Thunder. Okay, we gotta do Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, which is a pretty good ride. Okay. 
so far it seems this game is, is going pretty good. Um, the L2 and O. Oh, this seems slow though. Oh, no, okay, we're fine. Oh, I can't move. Oh wait, I can move. Wait, I can move right but not left. What? Okay, yeah, the left doesn't work, but the right does. Um, the L and R buttons for this. Um, the L2 button switches from map to speedometer. The R2 button looks behind or jumps. So we can't move left. Um, I wonder. Let's let's take a look at the controls. Maybe we can fix that. I don't know. Up, down, left, right. Okay. Well, it says left analog X. Analog Y, right analog X, right analog Y. Hmm. What if we change that to with analog? No, we still can't move left. That's really weird. Everything else seems to work except for going left. Hmm. Let's play around a little bit more with this stuff. Anything in options? No, nothing special there. Let's change that back to retro pad because that's what we have. Okay, all right. D pad up down left, left D pad. What if we did left? We can't select the left analog. Wow. All right. And you can't change this. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so analog to digital, left analog, right analog, none. So left analog should switch to the digital. Hmm. But it, it doesn't, the left just doesn't want to work. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I hope that this game is not unplayable just because of that. That would, that would be kind of crappy. Because it seems to run really good. Let's see. If it right analog. I didn't even think this was a um, analog stick game. I didn't read anything about it. Hmm. Oh, that's this is going to be unfortunate if we can't figure this out. Let's try a little bit more. Up, down, left, right. D-pad, left. D-pad, right. Um, hmm, what if we did D-pad left as the L button? What is the L button assigned to here? Let's try that. Hmm. Well, this is, this is unfortunate. Maybe it's mixing with this. Choose that to that. Yeah, just nothing's registering to move left. That's crazy. No, nothing. Wow. Well, I don't know. I mean, this might take a little bit more... Um more looking into to maybe to get it to work what is going on so right now i'm gonna have to say that's a no that won't work until we can figure out the left issue hmm wow that really stinks yeah because see it's, it's working here in the menu wow thrill kill okay so here's your warning this is a super violent game it's got some some mature themes so it, it even has this. You have to do this. I agree to the terms. You have to be 17 years old to play or view this game. Um, because it was so violent when it came out. It, this never came out. EA had the rights to it. And they never released it. Because of the amount of violence and like sexual content in it. So this is your warning. Um, if you don't want to see gore and some, some mature themes. Then now is the time to just say hey... Okay, I'll just assume this game works, because, yeah, it does work. This is actually a really good game um, for a fighting game. This uses the, or the, um, 
the Wu Tang Shaolin style game that came out for PS One, uses the engine of this game. That's what came out instead of this, which is funny because that's a really violent game too. You would have think, you know, or you would have thought that would have been too bad, but I don't know. That came out a little bit later than this would have. So for the L or the uh, L two and R two buttons, um, the L two button is used to crouch. The R2 button isn't used at all, um, but that crouch button is actually really important because um, that changes your entire moveset. I've played this a long time ago. It's a really good game. Uh, we're gonna be, where is he? Dr. Faustus. Dr. Faustus. I like Dr. Faustus. This runs good. This is the version that's like uncensored everything. Like, it's got music tracks that has ending videos, stuff like that. Because there's a couple versions that don't have that stuff and it's been cut out. So, let's see if we need to change the controls real quick. Let's see if left works here. Maybe the uh, emulator. Nope, left works here. It's just that magical racing tour game. So, it's a, like an arena fighter type. Ow. God, that guy hurts. Everybody hurts, really. Oh, wait a minute, my X button isn't working. Oh, no, it is. Okay, that's just me. I don't remember if there was normally music during the stages or not. Every version of this I played, there wasn't, though. Alright, so you may be confused as to how this game works. You don't have life bars in this game, okay? You have the, um, the, the kill meter at the top. The more damage you do to everybody, the faster it fills up. Um, once it fills up all the way, you'll see what happens in a second. Tormentor's probably gonna get it first. Nope, Mammoth got it, and now is the time to run away from Mammoth, because one hit will kill you with him. And he's coming after me, so I'm probably gonna die in a second. Um, did he get me? Oh, he got the imp. And then you kill that person. So you fill up your your thrill kill meter, you go after people, and you kill them with one hit. Begin. Right now the L button is blocked, which you also kind of need. So I would recommend... Let's go to our controls. Change our L2 button to the R button and R1 to the L2 button. Uh oh, too late. Getting our, our butt kicked a little bit there. You can also throw. Oh. And hold people from behind so other people can attack them. Oh, jeez, we're probably dead now. Yep, we're dead. There goes our head. Beautiful. So, yeah, this is a, a gruesome game, very much. They don't, they don't, you know, pull punches on the gore. And the, and the themes of weirdness. So let's try the L button again. Or R button. All right, there we go. So now the R button crouches. And that changes your entire moveset. You kind of want that crouch button. So now we're all good. This is fully playable. And this is a four-player game normally. Um, if you had the uh, you know the multi-tap on the PS1, you could play this four players. Um, obviously, we don't have that ability yet on the SNES Classic. So, if that ever happens, though, four-player throw kill. You know, ow, I hit.
Oh, we got the thrill kill. Okay, our turn. I really want to take out Mammoth because he hurts. Then one button. We just do the smash and break him up. What an interesting game. I love creepy, scary horror things. So this is like such a fun game for me. Stilts. He was always a cool guy. Tormentor is just some kind of Hellraiser reject. I feel like they're kind of teaming up on me, doesn't it? That's not a good idea. Oh, Tormentor is going down. He can't get out of this. Yep. Knock his head off. And you do have fatalities in this. Ah! The Imp is actually a really strong guy to use, too, because those stilts, man, they hurt. Got the juggles. Oh, the sliding kick. You're great. Oh! I don't know what's going on with them. Okay, so now is when you put the fatality in. Before you get struck by lightning, you have to hold a certain type of button on the, uh, the control pad. And now we're going to do our fatality. So one button, you just got to be able to grab them. And if you miss, you gotta do it all over again. Okay, and I don't know the fatalities. I forgot to look those up before playing this game. This is such a fun game, though. I mean, it's, it's obviously really super violent and everything, but it's different. It's a different kind of gameplay. It's something like the Smash Brothers or that whatever that Sony one was. Build up a mirror, then just take people out. <laughs> yeah, see how she's holding them while I take them out? That's kind of cool. Oh, all right, already. See, Belladonna is like a, uh, she's got a cattle prod and she's into that freaky deep stuff. Um, and Violet is a contortionist. She can bend her body in weird ways. Like that. That's weird. Yeah, why don't you guys fight each other? Jeez. already that was quick all right what's next let's see I actually would rather get Belladonna because she's stronger all right so we'll take out Violet and that'll be the end of this hopefully
Okay, that, that took a long time. That was a, that was a long throw. That's fun to juggle somebody with, too, that move right there. Oh, wow, okay. Good sound effects, too, with this game. Every hit's like, really, wham, really gets you. Okay, and then, like, now I'd be holding something to do that fatality. I don't know what to do. I do think that some fatalities need you to hold all four shoulder buttons, which we wouldn't be able to do here, so you might not be able to perform every move. Okay, now it's just time to get her. Run away. Got her. Okay. All right, so there we go. PS1 edition. We went through a, a good amount of games there. So uh, thanks to everybody who requested um, a game for me to give a shot. Sorry about those NBA Live games, man. And that Magical Racing Tour. I can't believe... That's such a weird way for the game not to work. I need to take a look at that and more. So thanks to everybody who requested a game. If there's any games that you would like to request me to check out, feel free to leave a comment, get me on my email, Twitter, or Facebook, and I will add them to the list and do my best to get them to work. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.